and welcome back to Mount Borealis Zoo on this very sunny November morning. I was about to say October because in the corner it just said October a second ago, but now it is November. <laughs> um, so I did let the game run a little bit. Uh, not really much came up other than the beavers keep breaking their barriers and our one mechanic can't keep up. Um, but other than that, there really hasn't been much coming up in the zoo. Um, with issues and stuff, seems to be running pretty good and we're making a decent amount of money. Um, I did say, I think last episode, that I wanted to start building at about 20,000. Uh, we're getting close, so um, I just wanted to take a look here. Although, when I say not much happened, um, of course, I mean babies were born. Look at these guys. All right, let's take a look, take a look. Look at how cute. I love them and their awkward little legs. Look at those awkward little legs. <laughs> I love that. So they had two. Um, I think each uh, each female actually had one. It wasn't um, two at once. I'm pretty sure anyway. I think both of them had a cub. So how cute. Look at him run. <laughs> I love that. So we've got a boy and two boys actually. Okay, perfect. Ooh, a gold star one. What do you have not have a star rating? <laughs> oh, because immunity's down. One of our females I think had pretty bad immunity, um, which is totally fine. But yeah, so we've got two baby reindeer, and I think, I don't know if we have a beaver yet. I think one of them was pregnant. Let's just double check. Um, yeah, so I think our alpha female is pregnant though, not her, um, the other one. Let's see, Santi. Yeah, she is, oh, wait, is she not pregnant? I thought I got, a, I thought I saw a no notification saying that she was expecting. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well maybe I just miss... Uh, maybe I just misread that. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe I did just make that up in my mind. <laughs> well, hopefully soon um, they will have some baby beavers as well, which will be super fun. So, yeah, today we are going to be building up a bunch of this area in here. So. I don't know if it's going to be all of it. I, I don't know yet how long this is going to take me. It's actually kind of, um, it's going to be a big endeavor, but I know I've been kind of getting a bit faster at my building. Um, so I'm really curious to see how this ends up going, um, whether I'm going to have to split it into two parts or not. But uh, I'm hoping that I can kind of build up this area. Basically what I'm thinking um, is this part, this very first part up to here. I'm not going to, I probably won't leave these squares or maybe I will, I don't know yet. Um, but up until this line, I just left these here as a line, um, is going to be kind of like the entrance. So that's why I have an info booth here. I might do another one mirrored on the other side here. This one is getting pretty busy. Probably do like the ATMs over here and stuff too, so people can get out cash um, and all of that. And then maybe even gift shops for people leaving. I don't know yet. Um, but then there's going to be an archway here. So some kind of like building uh, maybe connected to these that like has an, like walkthroughs underneath it. And then you go into the main plaza. Um, so this is kind of going to be the main square over here, and then there'll just be a bunch of buildings lining the edges. Uh, maybe I'll put some in the middle here too, uh, just kind of make it so that guests have to like walk around buildings and make it look a little bit more crowded. I do want to keep it open <laughs> as much as possible with like these really wide paths, but I think we could probably use up some of this space um, for building in the center here, just to kind of make it look a little bit more crowded and like you would expect. And then right here is gonna go a giant Christmas tree. So it's gonna be like the, the big, like central kind of giant Christmas tree plaza, <laughs> if you will. Um, and I'm hoping that'll be kind of surrounded by buildings. And then of course the guests can walk through there. And then over here, we're gonna have to have some kind of entry um, building or entry like gate sort of thing for the park. Uh, Cause I do kind of want to fill this in just so that it's like, you can't really see the park from over here. You have to actually walk through. Um, to see the park. So oh, it's melting. Look at that. We are getting warm. Nice. Um, <laughs> I don't want all my snow to go away. I like it in the snow. It's so pretty. Um, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, and obviously we'll need to build up the, um, oh gosh, they broke the barrier again. My goodness. Um, but yeah, obviously we'll need to build up some buildings for the staff buildings and all of that. There's still plenty to do. Um, but beavers beavers we also need to hire another mechanic apparently i was hoping one mechanic would be good enough for now but apparently it's not um but yeah that is kind of the plan for today look how ugly our ground looks without the snow on top wow i thought since i painted it with snow it would stay snow but i guess if it goes above zero it won't tundra my goodness i wonder if i wonder if it would help to like 
put grass under here? I don't know. I guess it looks realistic, right? It's kind of what it would look like, I suppose, underneath all that snow. <laughs> there wouldn't be a lot of living grass, would there? Um, but yeah, anyway. I don't think there's too much else to update y'all on. There's not really much going on in this zoo yet, obviously. So um, I think I'm just going to let it play for a little bit longer. I'm going to hit that 20,000 mark because um, I know that I want to buy a few more uh, like buildings, uh, like a, another food shop, another drink shop, and another bathrooms, and another um, info booth. So, and probably another merchandise shop as well. So those are like 2,000 each. It ends up being a lot. So I want to get to that 20 so that I, you know, can actually do a decent amount of building. So I will see you in the speed build. Okay, and we are off. It is a long one today, but I promise you it is worth it <laughs> in the end. This was worth all the effort. I absolutely love this square. I'm sure you got a good um, view of it from the thumbnail and everything already, but... Oh my, okay, so the first while um, of what we're gonna be working on here is this kind of central building. Um, it's definitely a lot bigger, or not a lot bigger, it, it took a lot more time than basically like most of the other parts <laughs> that we end up doing. I think it was because I was kind of getting my feet wet a little bit, just getting used to what I was doing here. I, it was a little bit more intricate, I guess, with this like curved wall and stuff. And then I, I wasn't sure how I wanted to roof it and and all of that, but, um, and it's also a little bit less patterned, I suppose, than the other buildings end up being. But yeah, the first little while is gonna be building this one, um, but I really like how it turned out. And I, the idea for this building actually is gonna be to make it a restaurant. So I saw recently that we have the updates coming for restaurants and uh, it's probably old news for you guys because right now I am pre-filming uh, these first few episodes just because um, it, in December I go away for a few months so I'm not going to be around my filming computer so I unfortunately have to pre-film these a little bit. Uh, I generally don't like doing it too far in advance because I like to get your feedback and be able to incorporate it more real time um, but you know it is what it is. These ones are all pre-filmed so <laughs> If the update comes out before I like wrap up the episodes for the pre-filming, then that'll be awesome. We can like throw in the restaurant uh, into here before we finish the area. Um, but I'm not totally sure when it's supposed to be coming. So we'll have to kind of see how that goes. But yeah, I'm excited for that. I, I think it's actually a really cool update. I, I like that they're still doing such cool, like intricate updates, like free stuff for this game. I've been kind of worried lately because it's been such a long time that it's been out <laughs> that I worry that it's like they're going to stop making new stuff for it. Uh, but I guess we'll see next year. I don't know. Um, you know, at least we're going to finish this zoo, so <laughs> I actually still have a couple others that I would like to make too um, that I haven't made because my channel is fairly new. Um, we've only done, this is only the third zoo that we've made and I would love to do a couple other um, themed zoos still too, but we'll have to see how it goes uh, going forward. But. This one, I just, I'm not over it yet. <laughs> I'm so excited about this zoo in general and this area, so cool. So I got a whole bunch of inspiration photos uh, and like Pinterest and stuff. Essentially it's very um, like German, French, Christmas market, um, or just like Bavarian village sort of style. Um, I don't remember what the other terms are for this kind of style architecture. I'd found a few of them, but uh, it's definitely not my area of expertise, so <laughs> I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love how... Um, I love this style. I've always really loved it. Um, it's probably always been my favorite style, this like the like wooden beams and um, sometimes like stone and stuff. I didn't really go with the stone look um, in these builds per se, but you know, in general, you kind of, you can imagine what, <laughs> what we're thinking here, but I saw a lot where they were actually quite colorful buildings. So I saw some where it was like a bright yellow building and like dark wood. And then I saw a whole bunch that were like these bright white buildings and like red wood or green wood or whatever it might be. So I thought it would be really fun to just kind of incorporate that a little bit more so than just doing like the white and brown or like the beige and brown <laughs> constantly throughout here. So that's kind of, that's why I went with the central building. I went, I started with the red and then we'll we'll expand out beyond the red after this building um but this first one just absolutely red um but yeah you can see i'm kind of struggling a little bit 
here with this building. I just, I didn't really think it through properly. Like it's not even <laughs> because of that like tower on the side. I should have made the tower go off the edge or something. I don't know. It just, yeah. Um, it ended up making it a little bit tricky to put a roof on both the tower and the actual main part here. So <laughs> this is, I think, uh, I think that's the main reason why this took so long. Uh, you can also see it's annoying me, but the that suit alert in the corner there, um, I did pause it. I thought about keeping the game on, um, on play while I built this because we are kind of still, I had to pause quite a bit while I was building in general, or not pause, but like stop building and start the game up quite often when I was building this section, just because we are still, you know, the money is still trickling in, trickling in quite slowly. So if you are looking to do something this elaborate in like the beginning of your franchise zoo, just make sure, um, make sure you're a little bit stable first. We got, I, I would say lucky this time, although maybe it's just because I'm starting to actually get better at this game because we had a similar situation last time, but a uh, couple of animals and like enough food and drink buildings for your guests, uh, as well as like the basic staff, like you definitely need a keeper uh, or not a keeper, sorry. I mean, obviously you need a keeper, but you definitely need a caretaker to like keep your guests happy and keep your zoo clean. That's one of the biggest things that um, you don't, I don't always think about. And yeah, so far in this size of a zoo, it's just, I have one of everything essentially. I have one mechanic, one keeper, one vet, one caretaker. And then I have a couple of extra vendors just because they always go on, um, they always go on breaks and the guests actually get quite upset if they can't, uh, <laughs> if they can't eat or drink or whatever. So that's, that's been a bit of an issue, but yeah, just make sure you have enough vendors and that sort of thing. And then honestly, like it's just kind of slow trickling money. Like we are only making money. I, I had no issue in the entire, like, I don't know how long it took me to totally make this, but maybe like five hours. Um, total building time. I had no issues with the game like being basically on play for five hours. I, I didn't, we didn't fall into really any crises other than the beaver habitat. I, I don't know, I don't know if I show it on the, the speed build. I'll have to see, but fairly shortly after this, I realized that like our beavers keep escaping and it's because I'm an idiot. They, I gave them a wooden barrier. Of course beavers can chew through a wooden barrier. <laughs> know what I was thinking. I thought, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. So I do end up changing their habitat barrier in this speed build in case anybody noticed that in the first episode and was like, I don't know if that's going to work out very well for you. Uh, yes, I do end up changing their, I change it to a brick, uh, the brick, I think barrier or concrete or something. And yeah, it seems to be working much better after that. They quit breaking out because that was the real issue that I kept having um, in the zoo was the beavers kept breaking out of their habitat. And I was like, really, is this not strong enough for the beavers? At first I thought it was my, my mechanics issue. Um, I thought that he just wasn't like checking it often enough, but no, it was definitely the beavers chewing through the wood barriers because that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but anyway, you can see there, I, I finished the, the front of that building on camera and then I basically just duplicated it. Like I kind of did this side that you can see from here. Um, it, it's a little bit different, I guess, but you know, I, I figured you got the gist from the first half and I just wanted to get through the rest. And I put those glass windows at the bottom there because that's kind of the idea I have for the restaurant. Like, so you can kind of see into the restaurant and a couple of those will end up being doors and that whole building inside we will decorate when we can make it a restaurant. So I'm excited for that, that'll be fun. But now we are on to making some towers. So I wanted to make kind of a cool entry, not really, a, I guess like a gate, like an old, uh, like an old gate sort of thing over here. So with a few towers um, and just some walkways underneath them. And this is the first one where I decided to start using patterns and this makes the entire thing go so much quicker after this. I These are the first patterns that I made over on the side there and it's all on the same grid. Sometimes I have issues with grids <laughs> uh, and making like patterns and I did kind of fall into it a little bit when I started duplicating things later on. But Overall, yeah, as long as things are good. Here, I, I just thought maybe we have, maybe it's too patterned. <laughs> so I, I get rid of the designs on the middle there. If you, also, if you want to do something like this, I, I really love these little pieces. And those are actually, in case you missed, like you couldn't see in the, um, in the build menu there. Those are the South American, like, leaf pieces. They're recolorable. So you, like, recolor them and they look like, uh, kind of like those icing pieces that were in Planet Coaster. If you played Planet Coaster, they like have the cool, 
cool little designs on them and you can re uh, recolor them. And then they look really good in this sort of situation where they have like ornate wood uh, detailing which I thought was really cool, but, and then yeah, here's me, of course, again, working with octagons. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. Uh, this game really does not support octagons very well. Uh, you need these like just plain plaster pieces and then you have to try to center it yourself and then it's like not on the grid anymore and et cetera, et cetera, but it is what it is. I think it turns out okay, <laughs> but I just wanted this to be like a really tall tower. This one ends up going in the middle of two other towers you'll see uh, afterwards, but yeah, I want a nice tall clock tower, typical, traditional, whatever you might want to call it. Uh, and I wanted to play around with these copper roofs a little bit too, because I saw in a lot of the photos that I was seeing um, with these kind of towers and stuff, they all use the copper roofs, which I actually quite like. I think they're, um, I think they're really nice. And the color is, I mean, it doesn't clash or anything. Like I actually think it looks pretty good. So I'm not going to use the roofs, the copper on all the roofs. I'm mostly using those wooden ones, but for you know something like this i thought that it would look good and then yeah here again i thought you know maybe i should make through the pattern first and then <laughs> um and then just duplicate it we'll make everything so much quicker but yeah here is the top of the tower same thing i think i ended up yeah i ended up using some kind of copper roof situation going on here yeah the little triangular roof and then another piece up top. At first I thought maybe I could make this like a multi, multi-leveled multi roof, but yeah, it, it's hard to use the angled pieces without like without making it really big and then putting it on a grid, but I like how this turned out. Uh, this piece that I ended up putting on top ended up working out really well. And of course, what is a clock tower without an actual clock? So <laughs> that is where the clock is gonna go. And here was when I had to, um, I ended up having to pause it for a while. I, I don't put that part on camera, um, but you can see there, insufficient funds. And then all of a sudden there's a bunch of buildings. <laughs> so I basically just waited um, until I had enough to duplicate that a couple more times. And now we have a full gate there. You can kind of get a decent view of, which I love. And now we're on play again. Cause I was like, I'm tired of running out of money. <laughs> so, and I fixed, I'm pretty sure I fixed the beaver habitat at this point. Um, I think I can see it in the background. Yeah, it's brick in the background there now. So <laughs> now we can keep it on play and we don't need to worry about our beavers um, and all of that. But yeah, that is the entrance gate. And then I want to fill in the rest of this front area with building as well. So I just took, uh, I decided to start with a blueprint of that center building since it's far enough away from here that I figured it's fine if it's the same pattern as the one in there. The ones, the other ones that are gonna go in there are gonna use different patterns, but I figured this one, you know, you don't see both buildings at the same time, so the pattern thing should work out fine. Uh, although, again, copy and pasting sometimes, I don't know. It, it In this game, copy and pasting entire like sides of buildings and stuff can be kind of tricky for some reason. <laughs> Me just trying to like get rid of all of these planters because I'm so close to the edge that <laughs> that we can't oh that we can't put it in and then yeah we have to use the one meter grid so I don't know where the grids are and yada yada but we got there in the end it all worked out perfectly fine and I like how this building looks uh, kind of next to everything else especially once I attach it to the other building too. We're gonna get rid of that gap and make everything totally closed in, which is really cool. Uh, this is the only part of the zoo I think that's gonna be so closed in, so I'm not too concerned. Like once you get in there, you can still see our mountains in the background. I was a little bit worried because I was like, oh, our, our landscape is so pretty, but I'm totally blocking the entire thing with buildings. But once you actually go in, there aren't gonna be buildings like this in the park or like beyond the park. So you can see the mountains behind and I, I think that kind of works out uh, really well actually. But this is all I ended up doing for the kind of connection bits here. Another pattern uh, that I just changed to the red and I kind of like how it like goes from red to brown like that. I, I think it's cool anyway, just kind of mixing it up a little bit. Uh, right in there. But this, uh, yeah, this building ends up just being copy and pasted over to the other side. Obviously you have to do a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of changes there uh, to make it all work out. But yeah, I, the entry area is very symmetrical, very, <laughs> it's the same on both sides, uh, which I don't know, I think works out really well. Uh, but I added in the second info booth here too. So I'm not sure exactly if two, it might be too many. I don't know how many people are actually gonna use them. That one always does have a lineup at it. so. Maybe Maybe it'll just, you know, make it a little bit less busy. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe it's unnecessary. Maybe I had a gift shop there instead later on. But yeah, that is the very entrance area. And then after a bit 
more saving up. Uh, the last little bit of this video is making the, basically just the front facade of the, of this, the, filling in the rest of this area. It, it's very much like the last few minutes is filling in the entire rest of this little plaza. Um, but you'll kind of see why this was so quick. So I made these blueprints that you see in the background there um, for basically these two large buildings on either side. And it was just a matter of copy and paste. And I really like how these turned out. I thought maybe I wouldn't love the such patterned so much, but these end up being like, I don't know, they end up working out really well. Uh, I left the food and uh, drink and bathrooms and stuff in these buildings, so that is where they're gonna live. I end up moving them around a bit um, off camera and making the um, like entrance to them a little bit better. But I think the reason that these two work out so well too is I am actually gonna be right away here putting together um, a bit more of an intricate building going up the center. So it breaks it up really well. Uh, which is why there is a gap there. <laughs> so this one I am starting with basically nothing and I'm gonna make it red again because we did green <laughs> at the beginning there. So we're going green, red, brown, uh, just to kind of really show that they're meant to be separate buildings just side by side. Um, and starting from, you know, basically nothing there, this is gonna be, I mean, it's a bathroom building, but you know, it, it, we'll pretend it's, an, it's something else. <laughs> we'll pretend it's for something more than just holding a bathroom. Um, but yeah, the rest of this video is just watching me basically make this the front of this building. Um, I feel like I did get a little bit better as we went <laughs> and I uh, did more and more of this. I feel like the patterns that I ended up putting into here uh, came a lot easier to me than doing the patterns for that very first building for sure. But I was a little bit concerned about these buildings looking very, like, proppy. Like, I don't know, I, I was concerned that they were gonna look like they weren't meant to... Um, like a movie set, you know what I mean? Like, they didn't have a back. <laughs> so I definitely, you know, I, I did the whole thing. I paid to, like, copy and paste the entire building onto the back so that at least from behind it looks like a building. Um, if you do ever see kind of the sides of it, it is fully 3D. Uh, they're not super thick buildings, but I mean, they're really tall and um, whatever, so I think it ends up working out in the end, but I decided to play with a, a few other cool little patterns and stuff here, try to make some some different designs <laughs> with the same pieces, of course. Um, I repeated these hearts here because I just think they're way too cute. I didn't even bother to like come up with another way to use those. <laughs> I just... I just did the exact same thing over and over again, but I really like how this, um, I like how this air, this part turned out, these kind of like V structure or like weaved. It almost looks like the woods like weaved together. I just think it looks kind of cool. So yeah, that is, I mean, I guess I didn't show the rest of the building that one. I don't know why, but <laughs> essentially I just copy and pasted everything that I built on the right hand side there over to the left. Um, and this is our new courtyard. So I guess I'm just showing this last little bit because um, I wanted to show putting in that tree and I don't know why I wanted to show changing the paths, but I decided to change it to like a cool cobblestone rather than just the brick and then realized that I could get rid of the curb because I always forget. I don't think it, you could always get rid of the curb. <laughs> I think that was new, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I do lighting off camera, so let's take a look at what it looks like now. All right, let's take a look at what our guests are now seeing when they walk into our zoo. So this is the kind of entrance building here. And look at that, all the way up to the top of the tower. Holy, these are tall buildings. Okay, so this is what this first entry courtyard looks like. Obviously, it's a little bit weird with this building in the background, but we can't do anything about that in franchise mode, I learned. <laughs> Last time, we cannot edit that building, um, only in sandbox, so that's too bad. But this is what it looks like from down here, and obviously at night, so I, I lit up everything. The windows were all already lit up and stuff, but yeah, that's what that looks like. Let's go through one of these cute little archways. Uh, very fun, lots of lights, and here is kind of the main courtyard area. So there's that big building that will eventually be a restaurant, so it'll be a little bit more bustling and we'll have tables in there and stuff, but uh, DVD on that one. Uh, let's go this way. So each of these little ramp ups uh, does go into a shop, so you can kind of see, I'll just run into this one. It's not exciting in here, um, it's actually pretty bleak and boring <laughs> um, but it is hidden anyway so I'm not too concerned about that <laughs> not wasting our our hard-earned money on decorating the inside of a building that we can't even see but yeah each of those is basically the same and then this one that's on ground level is a bathroom um, same sort of thing just <laughs> a dark tunnel to a bathroom but I thought it was kind of cute I was kind of aiming for stairs like I like how they have stairs going up um, in a lot of these kind of places but 
I mean, I guess I could put like wood in and make it look like stairs, but I think it works out fine just being um, ramps. But yeah, there's the park over there, which we will have to do next episode. But anyway, there's our giant tree. Look at that. This, um, I, don't, I think this was a workshop item that I had gotten back for Naropa City Zoo when I did some Christmas decorating in there. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly where it's from. I could probably put the link to the workshop item down below, but if you look up like Christmas, there wasn't very much good ones. And this was one of the only good ones that was actually there. <laughs> so that's where I got that from. Uh, it's a little bright. Those balls are a little bit glaring, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, mostly just the star. I put up all those stars and all these twinkle lights and I thought this little these little ropes to the tree were cute. <laughs> you can just kind of imagine them as like taut Christmas lights, maybe on a bit of a, a beam or something going on there. But yeah, that's what it looks like at night. Um, I'll just switch it to daytime quick so we can get another look as well. Okay, there, it's a bit more, <laughs> a bit more like daylight now, it's noon. Um, and yeah, that's what it looks like during the day. So obviously the lights turn off during the day, um, which I think makes sense. And yeah, I think it still looks pretty good during the day, really. I mean, all the details are there. You can see the colors of the buildings a little bit better. Very fun, I like it. So next episode, um, I am thinking, I would love to do a little bit more decorating. So I did the lighting um, this episode off camera, but I would love to do more decorating, like actually put some Christmas decorations and like festive decorations up around the area. It is also very like empty around the buildings and stuff. I might do a little bit of like maybe some planters on the ground and just kind of fill this, like these edges up a little bit as well. Um, but the main goal, I think, is going to be this area. So <laughs> we still have our animals are still going good. Um, I think one of our reindeer had actually our cubs had aged up. Um, yeah, two of them had. So I had to put them into the trade center. So hopefully they get pregnant again soon and we can have some more babies. Uh, we also did get some uh, beaver babies during that time as well. Um, oh, actually one. Um, but he also aged up already, so <laughs> he's in the trade center too. So we'll have to catch uh, catch next time the beaver babies, because um, I imagine they're adorable. But I actually think, because beavers have alpha females, I think our alpha female might be the only one who can get pregnant, which is a little bit unfortunate, because I think she's the lower genetic one, but you know, they'll do what they want to do. Um, it's fine, I need to update their enrichment too, it looks like, but... Yeah, that is, uh, that's that. So next episode I do, I think we're gonna do another part to like this whole area before we move on. I know it's a little bit, I, I don't know exactly how I feel about not doing an animal for multiple episodes, <laughs> um, but I mean, I hope you guys still, I think you guys still enjoy the building uh, just as much as the animals. So we'll do, essentially, I wanna build something really cool here, kind of like maybe sort of something similar to this, but I don't know if we really need the towers again. Um, I'm not sure yet. I, I don't really have any clear ideas at this point, <laughs> but I know that I wanna fill in this area with building um, so that you have to kind of walk under and then um, you can't see any of this until you basically like go through um, and then you're suddenly in a park and it's a lot more clear. Uh, we'll do some lighting in the park, some decorating as well, uh, some festive decorations. I want to redo this building to make it like match these buildings a little bit better. Uh, and maybe at the same time, actually, this might be one big building, uh, the reindeer shelter and the staff buildings I might make into like one big building. Um, so you can kind of see, you know, so it just kind of makes more sense in the background. And I also want to hide these ones. I added these in uh, recently as well. So we'll probably, I'll probably expand this building out to cover those just for, you know, when you're, when we're way over here in the zoo, so we can't see them at the distance, you know, <laughs> it all just kind of looks like it's supposed to look. But yeah, that is really about it. This is what our zoo looks like so far. I'll have to get rid of those too, but I wanted to keep them there just in case we need them next episode. <laughs> um, but yeah, as always, let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed today's episode, what do you think of the build? And if you have any suggestions, any ideas for the zoo, anything cool and exciting that you wanna see going forward. Essentially, um, big, big plan, like high level plan so far is this is the main area that's gonna look like this. I might do another little area over here cause I wanna do like a holiday train. And I think a holiday train in this kind of style would be really cool. So I might, you know, copy this style over to like another village over here. But besides that, um, I don't think it's gonna be quite so 
intricate and it's not going to be the same style. I do want to mix a little bit of sections here and there. So after this, we will be going around the corner here and um, adding in maybe somebody into the water here. Hard to say, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't think that'll be next episode. I think next episode we'll finish off um, this entrance area here. Oh, and I guess now we can we can sign off <laughs> looking at the night, nice lights at night. So yeah, that is about all from me this week, and I will talk to you in the next one.